What's happening ladies and gentlemen, it's official Angel Man Cohen here and I'm here only to bring you some of the best in WWE and NFL news and well, other random stuff for that matter. Alright, well uh, tonight was Raw's 20th anniversary show. Uh, I just got done watching it. Of course it's here in Houston, as you all know I'm from Houston, h Town, yeah. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't get the chance to go. I didn't really want to because I was like, I was thinking about it. And, you know, and then I said no, and then I found out it was the 20th anniversary, I'm like, should I get tickets? And then I said, nah, I'll just sit here and watch it at home. Uh, but then again, I could have had the chance to go sit in the front row and have a yes-no fight with Daniel Bryan. <laughs> and even had the shield pass me up as they were on their way to the ring uh, earlier. Yeah, but I'll talk about that, that part in just a second. Uh... So tonight was pretty chill, uh, I only watched it, like, I saw, I saw a little bit of that Del Rio and Big Show segment, but other than that, I missed, like, most of, like, the first 30 minutes, but it's alright, uh, they showed, uh, they showed a segment, uh, that I guess was earlier in the, earlier in the week between, uh, uh, Team Hell No and Dr. Shelby, uh, I guess trying to catch up on how they're doing their progress and their friendship. And then they had Damien Sandow, Rhodes Scholars walk, Damien Sandow, Rhodes Scholars, Rhodes Scholars in general walking into the room. And, uh, and so then he saw, so the Sandow was talking about that Team Hell No would get better advice from Dr. Phil. Dr. Shelby got mad and told, uh, Hell No to stomp those motherfuckers. So they did that. And then they started doing Yes Chance. And I'm thinking, are the Yes Chance back? And the next thing they showed was uh, Kane taking on Damian Sandow one on one, which Kane won that match. Uh, I don't know exactly when. I can't remember exactly when later on in the night this match came, but I'll tell you anyway that uh, Daniel Bryan would later on in the night take on uh, take on Cody Rhodes, and Daniel Bryan won that one. Now it's that that makes me think that Team Hell No is gonna lose the titles at Royal Rumble. I mean, I don't want them to. I really love them as tag team champions. They're the funniest thing. They make Raw worth watching for me again. But, uh, I don't know. That's just how I see it. Uh, what, what was another thing that we saw? Uh, they said that they announced the first inductee for the Hall of Fame. But, of course, I already knew who that was. Uh, of course, Mick Foley. Mick Foley came out, and before he could even have a chance to really talk, uh, the Shield's music hit, and they were walking through this crowd in the Toyota Center. And uh, then that's when uh, Ryback came out, and then Randy Orton. They all came out and uh, and stomped the Shield. And uh, so yeah, Mick Foley is going to be in the. Did I say he was going to be in the Royal Rumble or the Hall of Fame? If I if I said Royal Rumble, I meant Hall of Fame. My bad. I'm just excited, you know. Few things I wanted to remind. Uh, Eve Eve put her title on the line against Caitlyn. Now before the match started, I keep hearing things about that. That was Eve's swan song. Now I know what that means, but she means that's that's her going out. She's leaving. So I'm like, that's her last. This is gonna be her last match. I'm like, yeah, most likely. Cause I predicted, you know, Caitlyn's in her hometown of Houston, Texas, H Town, and she could win it. And I was hoping she could. And Caitlyn, of course. Ended up winning the title tonight. Uh, and then I tweeted her and I touted her, you know. Uh, and, you know, people were trending, thank you, Eve. So I'm like, yeah, Eve's really leaving. By the way, I wanted to get to something. I know on SmackDown, Del Rio defeated Big Show for the World Heavyweight title. In case y'all didn't know, that spoiler was announced. It was a spoiler. It was announced the week earlier in the week. For some reason, and it was released on WWE.com. They released it on Tuesday. I know SmackDown's recorded on Tuesday, but why do you release your spoiler? Why do you put a spoiler on there? They already released the results of that match. And, uh, I could have used it to make a bet against my friend who, uh, we could I, I could have used it to make a bet against him, uh, so I, I can get 20 easy bucks. And, yeah, I know it seems like a bad bet since I already know the winner, but he deserves it. He's always been a dick to me at school, keeping me in the dick and shit. So he deserves it. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's like, cause hell, if I didn't see that spoiler and I was making the bet, I would put my money on Big Show. 
So, yeah, I, I didn't really see the point in the whole spoiler thing and all that. Uh, what has happened? CM Punk versus Brodus Clay. Obviously, the winner is predictable. Uh, CM Punk all the way. Cena and uh and Ziggler in a cage match. Uh, the winner was Cena. He will be in the Royal Rumble as well as Ziggler, Orton, and 3MB and a few other guys I think that have already been announced. Uh, and then they showed a WWE active video of Eve announcing that she quits the WWE. Yeah. So I, you know, I already knew it before it happened. But I'm like. He's actually leaving. I can't believe it. All the good, all the at least hot divas have left. Kelly Kelly left. The Bellas left. Now Eve's gone. But then again, I'm kind of glad because I tweeted her and she never retweeted me. And so, and she and she tweeted talking about my Houston Texans. I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. You know I'm a Houston Texans fan, and they lost against the Patriots. Congrats to the Patriots and everything, but still. And they, she tweeted talking about that the Texans are losers, something like that, and that Caitlyn also being from Houston is a loser. So hopefully Caitlyn will retweet me. Uh, but if not, it's all right. And then there was the Rock concert. The Rock concert, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the Rock came out, and he's he's doing a little bit Elvis, you know. He's throwing a shout out to Texas' own ZZ Top. Yes, I am a hip hop and rap fan, but that doesn't mean I can't like other genres. <laughs> and you see, and then he did some Eric Clapton, and he brought up Vicky Guerrero. He was singing that one song to Vicky. It's late in the evening. She's wondering what clothes to wear. You know that song. And then, and then, uh, And then he's, and then, you know, he's, like, dedicating it to Vicky. Vicky's on the stage. And then he's, like, and then he starts going, you know, out there, saying something like, she's asking, do I look okay? I said, be out your ugly or something like that. I don't know, but that shit was funny. And he said something about, you dress like a hooker and not one of the expensive ones. <laughs> that was funny. I mean, yes, I know what y'all are going to say. Why are you wearing the punk shirt and you're, and you're cheering for, on The Rock. Really, I like both of those guys. And I don't care who wins. I just want it to be a good match to show why I started watching wrestling when I was, like, about this tall. Way down there. You know? So, yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on tonight's Monday Night Raw. And I wanted to announce another thing. I know, once again, that this isn't the best source for anything. But really, this isn't... Really... It, uh, if you look up stuff that has to do with entertainment and stuff, it's it's most of the time correct. Look what I just saw on Wikipedia. I know it's not the best source, but a lot of times it is for entertainment purposes, not really education purposes. But look what I saw. WrestleMania 30, March 30, 2014, New Orleans, Louisiana, Mercedes-Benz Superdome. WrestleMania is coming to the Big Easy. I was hoping it would. And, you know, it was, once again, like, not really, a, not even a 50-50, like a 25-75 chance. New Orleans being on the 25, but it's coming to New Orleans, and I could probably take a road trip down there. I will definitely go to Access, if anything. I will definitely go to that. I'll be in my senior year, be more free than ever, you know. WrestleMania is coming to the stadium where one of my favorite football teams plays, the Saints, my team away from home, you know, so it's going to be a big deal, man, to see that in the Superdome, I was really hoping it would happen, and it looks like it is, especially seeing that now we're really close to 29, so they got to set up the logo and everything, and get the promo to play, you know, the promo that they're going to show at WrestleMania 29, yeah, so, WrestleMania 30, ladies and gentlemen, New Orleans, Louisiana, be ready, man, I'll keep y'all updated on anything. Follow me on Twitter. The name and the link is in the in the description below. If you want, you can do Instagram. It's fine, but I care more about Twitter. Now, good night, everybody.